Hello Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your second quarter. Finally, sorry I'm a little late, but I got the motorcycle out and I just went for just a great ride yesterday. It was just awesome. It was a beautiful day. I had the tunes on and oh yeah, really feel good stuff. So, I hope you had a terrific day, um, a nice Easter, you know. Hope spring in the Northern Hemisphere is enjoyable for you. And fall in the Southern Hemisphere is enjoyable for you, too. So, Virgo, let's get your vibes in there, okay? <sighs> Virgo. Virgo, there you go. April, May, June, 2021. Virgo. Oh, Virgo, there's an emergency. There's a, I, I hear a siren. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So what's for Virgo? April, May, June. What's coming up? Let's have a little look ahead at the energy for you virgo wow what a nice card to drop out nine of cups so you know this is happiness success some sort of a fulfillment some way you feel very happy you could feel like celebrating you know it's it could be a dream come true for you something that you've really wanted so let's cut those cards I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot for this little layout here. I'll pull them down so you can see them as well. I like when you can see them because when I'm pointing to things, you know, you can see it too. One more time around. And we're ready. So, oh, it's going to require glasses. The spectacles. Wow. Um, I don't. <laughs> you got three pages. So talk about messages coming in. These could all be young people too. You could be surrounded by a lot of young people, younger than you. This is also new, all new beginnings. You know, um, new. It's something that you've never done before because. You, it's it's new to you you know you're just learning it or something like that um this could be over the next three months or it could be all in april uh it looks like you're you could be getting an opportunity it could be to study it could be to take a course to um could be some sort of research you could be researching something because you've got something in mind you know that you want to learn that you want to develop more you know but as i said it's all in page mode this is very youthful naive sometimes um uh, it's uh, it's uh, you know <laughs> new opportunity for sure like it's getting offered right to you you're this is discussion news you could read about it on the net and decide oh i'm, I'm gonna apply for that i'm gonna go for it i need to find out more about it i don't know about it but it's lit my fire it's you know you're real lit up here this is a lot of energy okay a lot of energy so then you have the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Communication, you know. Um, okay, so it's the Eight of Pentacles is about putting the time, the energy, the work in. You're trying to um, put the time in to... to bring something together to complete something that you could have been working on a long time. This could involve networking in some way, you know, via the internet as we're all having to do now, you know, but, and 
I also got to tell you, I feel like you're healing a broken heart through this month. There's some old wounds here, old wounds. And you could be, or maybe it's not a broken heart. It's, 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 it could be just old wounds, really. Um, and so you're doing your, the work and the energy and the time you're putting in is, is healing energy as well. Because pentacles are healing, right? They're about being grounded, about, um, you know, nurturing and, and nurture and nature kind of thing. And then the seven of cups is about spreading yourself too thin. You know, you may have a lot of options suddenly and perhaps opportunity even to fulfill them, you know. But the thing is, is when we spread ourselves too thin, we are so rushed around to all these things, we don't really do any of them really well. You know, it's kind of half-assed. So it's saying, you know, be careful not to be a yes person, yes to everything. Some things it's okay to say no on because you need to focus. And that's that eight of pentacles, right? That's that focus. It's about focusing on what you're presently doing. If it's healing, then focus on healing. And then you will get around to these other choices eventually. You'll get to them. But it's one thing at a time, you know. We're knocking one thing at a time. Because, of course, you can't do all these other things really effectively because you're still healing you know it's yeah it's hard to um be super duper from a hurt place or from a um a wounded position sort of thing eh so we need to heal those wounds and then we're in tip top shape to uh, you know to take on more challenges more responsibilities fulfill more dreams and desires in our lives so um so this is an april okay this needs to be you know this is the this is the other thing too is that what the, a lot of this new stuff is here in these pages and and with this healing is that you're learning you're learning new tools you're learning um Perhaps new ways to communicate, new ways to listen, you know, because we uh, communication is about interpreting things too, right? And then um, also some sort of renewed uh, belief in your talents, your skills. So combination is incredible. All right, so May, you have the King of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Pentacles. King of Cups could be a water sign coming into your energy, or more. it's more prominent in, in May. Um, this King of Cups could be male or female, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, it could be um someone a little detached i'm feeling detached okay detached not really wanting to um fully connect or fully be involved they're not committing is what i'm thinking they're not committing yet they're they're they might say yeah yeah i want to yeah you know enthusiastic but not actually taking any action towards it there also could be some sort of delay towards um money coming to you you could be expecting money of some sort could be from a king of cups um but there could be a delay for this money that you're expecting also um the delay could be the other way you know you're you're or this person is not convinced yet that they want to invest and again their time energy their money um they're they're not really putting in they're not really putting in you know they're kind of like um i 
I don't know. I don't know. You also have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Well, there is a match right there, King and Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Cups can be the water signs, but they can also be a match, okay? They're naturally a good fit together. The Seven of Pentacles is, is time and energy already expended, you know. This is, look, I put all this in, I put this work and this time and, and per, you know, invested yourself personally, right, into something you're waiting to see the fruits of your labor. And I think in some ways you do. You're very happy the way it's progressing. Um, you know, it seems like someone, one of you is very in touch with your feelings and one of you is very detached from their feelings, okay? Um, I think it's probably you that's more in touch with your feelings. Um, but something is growing here, okay? It is growing in the Seven of Pentacles. It, Seven of Pentacles is about patience. Patience, um, uh, to, to for this to <laughs> evolve, you know, to for it to evolve. So, in June, you have the Justice, the Two of Pentacles, and the Moon. You could be involved in some legal sort of situation, or it could just be simple, like, um, in this case, it could be your taxes coming in. It could be, you know, something to do with, it uh, could be government too. Um, but it's funny, you have the justice and she's got these two cups on the scale and there's also the two sides to the situation, right? There's always two sides and here there is the two of pentacles, the two sides, you know, she's, she's, uh, you could be in a meeting, you could be meeting with a lawyer even, or some sort of legal uh, for some sort of legal reasons, you could be asked to sign some sort of document, something like that. Um, you're not sure what to do about this situation. You're not sure which way to go. Like, it's not really clear to you as to what you should do. And again, you're waiting. You're, you're kind of not into wanting to go one direction or another. You're kind of right here in the middle, you know, and um, you could be juggling funds for a while while you're waiting for this other money. If there's money you're expecting, there's also some sort of confusion here. Um, you could feel distance. There's these two sides again. See these two sides, these two wolves, right? And they're across water. They can't reach each other. There's some sort of emotional distance here. And it's confusing. You're, you're not really clear on it. You know, you can't really... Um, Figure it out. There, could, yeah. You, you just seem to be uh, not. Uh, it doesn't seem to be crystal clear to you at this point. So you're not sure. You're. It's like I said. You're in this limbo, right? You're in this limbo. Um. You also have the nine of swords, the seven of wands, and the queen of wands. Um, the Queen of Wands could be a fire sign around you, could be uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It um, Now, the Nine of Swords uh, implies worry, you know, worry, anxiety, uh, fear even, okay? Now, sometimes this is all, all in your head. It's not always necessarily real or will come true. You know, it, it sometimes will get going in our head. Like I said, where did I say it before is, you know, we, we think in our heads and then, and then it doesn't happen. And so I think it's needless worry. You know, you might feel poked at, you might feel... 
Um, you're trying to stay in your zone, you know. You're trying to really have your zone. You're trying to be peaceful. You're trying to, oh, that's what I said. The, the communication, the interpreting. This is really big about that, okay? So the ones that you let in are the ones you let yourself believe about what others are, you know, and all these you don't let in. So you're, you're kind of in a mode of self-protection, perhaps. Um, um, try, I think you're trying not to worry, trying not to have this anxiety, trying to keep yourself cool and, and, you know, in this zone, right? And I think it's improving. Little by little, it's improving. You know, you're able to keep out all these now and only let one in. You've made a lot of progress. You're not, um, I think you're getting better at interpreting, okay? And then with the Queen of Wands here, this person is um, exuberant. They're very creative and productive. They're the very definition of action and going after uh, what they want, what they seek, what they, you know, uh, what's next on their thing. They're ever changing, ever changing. And um, they don't let a lot get in their way. They find a way to get results, to get done, achieved what they're trying to achieve. They find a way. Okay, so finally you have the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Um, the Queen of Swords could be an air sign around you, um, Gemini, um, Libra, or Aquarius. This person is holding back. <clears throat> it seems they're holding back in some way, okay? And it's about their stability and their security. Uh, they, I don't think they feel safe yet or um, not secure. You know, they don't feel stable and secure yet. Uh, they, this person could have been on a long, long journey and a, a long, a, a, a burden, you know, a long jury carried a, a burden for a long, long time. But they're at, at the end of that journey. They're almost done. They're almost ready to lay down these bur burdens and carry on without them. Okay. So, um, you know, it's, it's like they're coming to the end of this task, of this uh, test, perhaps. Okay. So, hmm, very, very interesting. I like that the, right in the middle, though, is this fulfillment. It may require patience, may require time. It could start to happen by the end of this, like, the end of June, you know. But like I said, it's going to require patience. Anything worth something is worth waiting for. So, you know, maybe it's good that it's slow. Maybe it's good that, you know, um, it's natural, right? Natural. There was something about nature, you know, um, nurture and nature. Here. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Trust. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So it's, it's kind of cool because there is some of that here, right? Security, safety, stability, you know, feeling safe. Might take longer for some people than it does others. We don't know their road, right? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Uh huh. Looks so romantic. <laughs> little, little kids. 
Okay, one more for Virgo. Come on, let's have one more from the Romance Angels. One, well, it gave you two. It's your lucky day. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And a past life relationship. You have known each other before. So it seems like there's some sort of a bond uh, before that is carrying on in this lifetime. And, you know, usually that sometimes you can meet up again and again, life after life. And you meet up with that person again and, you know, you could be lovers or sister or brother or, you know, whatever, just friends. I don't know. But, and because, um, you're, you're like, it's like, kind of like that soulmate soulmate doesn't have to be a lover you know it can be different but it's like a soul tie and every life you meet up again and um and usually these people are key people in our on our life team you know they help you get through something when you were two or they you know helped you in high school and there's more than one there's more than one there's many you know, what their roles are in each of your lives are different. And this could be with love, this person, this time, you know, there's some sort of um, tie there. There could be something that you need to finish that you didn't finish in the last lifetime or that you need to, you know, they call them the unfinished symphony, right? So the, there's this part of the story that hasn't been written kind of thing you know so all very interesting virgo please comment below i love to know how it relates to your situation if it does and if it does hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button if you haven't it's all free helps me a lot and i really appreciate it um, yeah, so thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.